Hey guys, so I was getting a request uh, to make the Android 6.0.1 update review for the Galaxy Note 5. So uh, the reason why uh, I wasn't making that video f uh, early because I have the N920i variant of the Galaxy Note 5, which for some reason Samsung is not updating this version. You know, it's like 16 person people uh, in this world are using and 920i variant of the Note 5 and they're still stuck at 5.1.1 lollipop but luckily of course I know how to root phones and uh, you know do some uh, ROM installation and all that so I was able to install um, a firmware which is actually based on uh, the Marshmallow of course and Marshmallow is based on the N920G Marshmallow firmware. So N920G is like the Indian variant of the Note 5. Uh, so yeah, thankfully or luckily of course those uh, files of the N920G, they can work fine on the N920i. And of course uh, I'll be making a video tutorial if you guys want me to make that. Uh, but in this video I just want to take a look here. So uh, you have first of all of course this is a ROM. Um, this is you can say this is a custom ROM and it does give you all the features of the Note 5 Marshmallow update but on top of that it also gives you the features from the new phones of a new flagship phone from Samsung which is of course the S7 Edge so uh, I don't use the Edge features uh, feature that much so I have disabled that but you get pretty much everything from the Galaxy S7 you know uh, you get the game launcher you get the um, uh, what you call advanced features uh, you also get galaxy labs where you can uh, check out some of their experimental features so basically everything from the s7 is also added in this rom so it's overall a much more better um, or worthy upgrade than just normal updates so uh, you also get of course with the normal uh, update if we talk about the notification panel it's looking really or quick settings looking really similar as uh, compared to the s7 uh, same thing with the app drawer uh, they haven't changed that much stuff uh, with their update uh, you get all the stuff from marshmallow like google now on tap you get uh, the app permission so all that cool stuff is there but again the uh, the N920i variant uh, people they are really unlucky uh, I don't know when Samsung will going to release officially but if you are like me uh, who can't wait then definitely let me know so that I can make a video tutorial of how to install it but for the rest of the Note 5 user of course you have probably watched some videos about the official update but again I just want to show you guys that this is uh, if I go into software information, you can see Android 6.0.1, this is uh, the baseband version N920G and this is the My Lilith S7 S 3.0 ROM, okay? So it gives you really nice overall um, S7, uh, S7 type of look, you get the wallpaper, you get the theme engine screen grid and uh, you also get the S7 Edge feature which I'm just going to show you guys here, going into settings, um, you get Edge screen here, you just go ahead and turn it on and then you get this here so pretty cool uh, of course everything is there you can uh, have third party uh, things there you can also have contacts people edge all that stuff from the S7 Edge is here and on top of that uh, you do have your S Pen connectivity so that is also great so it's like an all around package and and I personally think that if you have a Note 5 you don't really have to upgrade to the S7 or the S7 Edge you know I think you should wait for the Note 6 because that will be a worthy upgrade and uh, also one thing that I've noticed that uh, ever since I've upgraded to Marshmallow the battery percentage is it's been uh, really good um, uh, because now we do have dose mode and previously the battery was running really fast or draining really fast when it was in standby mode you know uh, so this is how the S Pen settings looks like uh, so of course you can use it like this you have the S Note and of course this uh, ROM does uh, comes pre-rooted so you can have rooting applications like uh, uh, what you call the backup application, uh, titanium backup application and some other stuff. So yeah, this is basically the whole update. Uh, you're going to get a little bit of uh, change app drawer, the, the app drawer icons and the and the quick setting area. But with the with this ROM, the developer has added some more features from the S7 Edge. So particularly this Edge feature, the S7 wallpapers and the Galaxy Lab and and that game launcher which allows you to record uh, gameplays, 
Uh, so, uh, so if you are you know looking to start like a YouTube channel gaming videos of smartphone you can record video or screen record using this so this is really good so yeah that's pretty much it uh, I was getting a request for this video that's why I'm making it and uh, yeah I now have the 6.0.1 version here on my Note 5 and 920i uh, variant and I'm gonna be doing a speed test side by side with the Note 4 and the Galaxy uh, S6 to check the performance or maybe even the S7 so let me know in the comment section down below if you're interested in those videos so yeah see you guys in the next one peace out